Bars are great because, again, uh, when business is booming, when the economy is doing good, what do people like to do? They like to get drunk, okay? And when the economy is in the toilet, yeah, what do they like to do? They also like to get drunk, okay? There's, like, not too many bars right around that area, and people love getting drunk. And the landlord, he's like, yeah, this is great, you know? Take my nine hundo, and it's all been hunky dory, okay? And now it's available to you, right? And it's at uh, it's it's priced where it's at like the one percent roll, right? And the one percent roll is common, uh, is a common investing metric in the residential space, okay? Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour, won't wise to be giving it to you straight. Recessions, man. Today, I want to talk to y'all about investing in doing investments that are recession proof, right? Some investments work good in certain types of markets, and they're working poorly in other types of markets, right? The economy it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down, right? Feast or famine, okay? You know what type of investment? universally works all the time because people like to do it all the time bars right people love getting fucking drunk okay economy's going good motherfuckers like to get drunk economy's in the shitter motherfuckers like to get drunk you got this belly right here you best believe i like to get fucking drunk who doesn't like to get fucking drunk Unless, of course, you have a major drinking problem, in which case you probably shouldn't drink. But hey, all I'm saying, guys, is good, bad, left, right, it don't matter. People love getting fucking drunk, okay? Now, what I have for y'all today is a nice little bar, okay? 105 Nassau Street, East Canton, Ohio, baby, and it is coming to you. At eighty nine thousand nine hundred dollars, little bar tavern. Okay, you don't have to mix the drinks yourself, though. Don't you worry. You don't gotta hand out beers to people. You don't gotta hand out Miller Lights, Coors Light. Maybe you're handing out Bud Light and you're wondering, oh shit, should I be handing out Bud Light? Our motherfuckers gonna protest me. I don't know. Don't worry. You don't gotta worry about that, guys. You're just buying the building. There is a tenant in there. They're running their own bar tavern, okay? The owner of the building, the one selling it to you through yours truly here, uh, he's had this particular uh, bar restaurant in there for, well, bar tavern, restaurant, whatever. It's not really a restaurant. It's, I think there might be some, like, chips in there. But people are, are mainly focused here on getting fucking drunk, okay? They're not really worried about eating, uh, you know, fancy foods here. They're really about chugging that beer ski, you know what I'm saying? But they've been doing this for 10 years, right? He signed them up to a lease uh, originally, a five-year lease, 900 bucks a month. And uh, that came and went, and they just kind of been on a handshake. They're staying. Business is doing good for them. Things are going all right. Bar owner uh, is, is doing fine. Business is, is good because, you know, it's getting fucking drunk. There's, like, not too many bars right around that area, and people love getting fucking drunk. And the landlord, he's like, yeah, this is great, you know. Take my 900, and it's all been hunky-dory, Okay. And now it's available to you, right? And it's at, uh, it's, it's priced where it's at like the 1% roll, right? And the 1% roll is common, uh, is a common investing metric in the residential space, okay? But guys, this is commercial. This is a little bit different, right? I know a lot of you start off in residential uh, and, and maybe later down the line you migrate to commercial. Well, let me tell you a little something if you've never done commercial investing before, guys. You know what's cool? Uh, about commercial investing, you take this like 1% rule, right? You buy a house uh, for $90,000 and, you know, historically, if it's going to rent for at least 1% of that, 900 bucks a month, you're probably going to make some money. It's probably going to cash flow, okay? And that's what I have this bar priced at for you. 90000 89 if we're being technical. What's 100 bucks amongst friends, though? I'll tell you what it is. It's a round of Miller Lights. <coughs> Crap. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's out here. Hold on, I'm dying. Sorry about that, folks. Technical difficulties. Also, that would be a really big round of Miller Lights, you know. This is one of those bars where, like, beers are only, like, three, four bucks, okay? So you have to buy a lot of Miller Lights there, okay? By the way, this show, 
Not sponsored by Miller Lite. But it could be. Miller Coors hit me up. I assure you, it's not going to go the way it went with Dylan. I, I'm telling you, I will not put on a dress at any point in time. But we do randomly throw girls in bikinis in our videos for no fucking reason whatsoever like this. You might be wondering why I'm walking around in a bikini. Because this is America, that's why. Land of the free, home of the brave, the land of opportunity. Like the opportunity to click the link below and start investing today. All right, welcome back, y'all. That was America Girl doing what she does. Round of applause for America Girl, all right? Now, seriously, though, Miller Lite, Coors Light, you guys want to sponsor us, that'd be mad dope. But if you don't, I totally understand that, too. Uh, but it would be cool if you did. Now, back to the bar, y'all. When you have a house, and it's doing the 1% rule, right? 90K, 900 in rent. As a residential landlord, what you guys are used to doing, you have to factor in a bunch of other stuff, okay? You got to factor in repairs, maintenance, vacancy, capex, right? Okay, turnover costs, right? Property management costs, landscaping costs, okay? And with all those things factored in, if you're at the 1% rule, you're still going to make money. But in commercial, y'all, it's a little different. You got some things you don't got to worry about. Repairs? Nah! You don't do repairs, okay? You don't do that stuff, okay? That's all on the tenant. That's all on the bar owner, right? Um, what else? Oh, uh, what's a good one here? How about uh, property management? No. The bar. You don't need to really manage the bar. I mean, they're pretty much doing it them, you know. They're fine. You just got to collect the rent, right? Uh, if you do have to evict them, the laws are a little bit different. You don't have to go through the whole court process, right? You more or less just kind of change the fucking locks, okay? They don't really have all these crazy landlord-tenant laws. Uh, what else do they got here? What else? Oh, landscaping? No, you're not doing any of the landscaping. That's all on the bar, right? So your costs are going to be much lower. Now, one negative to commercial investing is when you're in between tenants, it's, it's usually a much longer vacancy. But then when you get a good tenant, a tenant whose business uh, is successful, such as this one, they've been in there 10 years, dude. They would make no sense for them to move this business, right? They got a lot going into it, and they do their own repairs. They set up their own bar, so they got a lot of money involved uh, in things they have inside this bar, right? So, like, vacancy, it's, it's probably going to be many, 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 many years before you have to get a new bar in there. But again, bars are great because, again, uh, when business is booming, when the economy is doing good, what do people like to do? They like to get fucking drunk, okay? And when the economy's in the toilet, yeah, what do they like to do? They also like to get fucking drunk, okay? There are some things out there that people are only, like, really splurging on. When the economy's good, like, for instance, uh, probably about 10 years ago, uh, we bought several apartment buildings uh, with this fancy schmancy doctor out in L.A. Um, he's a real fancy schmancy guy. And uh, like five years later, we had to buy him out because he ran out of money because he invested it all in a Froyo business, right? Froyo to me seems a lot like something that you only really splurge for when the getting's good, right? When you're down down out of your luck you're depressed your old lady just left you the kids are gone they're like fuck you dad we don't like you you're a horrible deadbeat and you're just real sad i don't think you're like oh everything's going horrible and then you look up and then you see fucking beer and then you're like fucking fro yo i don't think anybody's ever like man i'm at this fork in the road it's been a really horrible day let me get me a fro yo i don't think that happens guys i think you're always going to the fucking booze right Likewise, when the old lady, the kids, they come back, they're like, Dad, we missed you. Our stepdad sucked. You were like way cooler than him, please. You're so awesome. You're like, yeah, this is great. I got my family back. Let me throw back some Froyo. No, you don't do that. No, you're like, I'm going to throw back some tequila shots and some beers, y'all. So, again, uh, it's just it's a business that I do uh, believe you're going to see a lot of stability there uh, that you won't see in other stuff, right? And you can't really outsource it either, right? Like it's 2023. You get a lot of small uh, commercial spaces, guys, where where people are just like, you know what? I don't actually need this brick and mortar because I could totally rock my business from home. Uh, or like, oh, you know what? 
I don't need this store anymore because Amazon put me out of business, right? Stuff like that doesn't really happen, right? There's kind of always going to be a place uh, for people to go and, and get what they want out of a bar, right? So because of that, as a long-term commercial investment for uh, folks like you, at a price point of only 89.9K, it makes a lot of sense, guys, like in, in all seriousness, right? Uh, you know, we're joking around here, trying to have a little good time, trying to keep the, the video upbeat here because, like, you know, sometimes real estate can get a little boring. Uh, but you know what's not boring? Getting fucking drunk, right? And that, folks, is why there's always going to be a demand for that. Tenants are always uh, going to want to rent this place from you. Uh, it's probably going to go pretty well with your current tenant, and I'm sure if you wanted to, once you – uh, take this thing over, you could probably very easily get them to sign another 10-year lease, right? Because they don't want you kicking them out, right? Because they've already established their clientele here, right? So all told, uh, if you're interested in this as a long-term commercial investment, I think it's going to make a lot of sense for you guys uh, to submit your offers. We're going to be accepting cash offers or financed offers. If you want to do a financed offer, you got to have your pre-approval letter. Uh, send either your cash or your financed offers to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. If you'd like to tour the bar, uh, go there during business hours, you know, grab a couple beers on me. I'm just kidding. Fuck you. I'm not going to buy you beers, you fucking assholes. you got to buy your own beers, and then don't don't forget to tip the bar lady, okay? Come on, don't be pricks. Uh, but don't bother the patrons. You know, don't don't mess with them. Don't be like, oh, I'm thinking about buying this. Just have a beer, check it out, see what's up, okay? And then come back to us, submit your offers, sales at holtonwise.com. And if you need lenders, you're trying to get uh, your foot into the commercial game, but you don't have commercial lenders just yet. Don't you guys worry. We have uh, a ton of lenders for you. I've been doing this a very long time. Sold over $200 million worth of real estate, commercial, residential. Uh, but when I do residential, it's investment residential. I don't like sell people houses that, you know, they take their families and like live there. I sell rental properties. I sell investment properties, y'all. Uh, so I have a huge network of lenders so I could help you uh, hook you up, get you some lenders if you want to buy this bar, but you don't uh, have a means of financing it. Just send me an email to my team, sales at holdenwise.com. I'll get you my lenders. I'll field your offers. And, you know, this thing's rocking and rolling. One expense you do have, by the way, uh, we went over the expenses you don't have now that's commercial, that you've moved up to the commercial game. One expense you do have is going to be capital expenditures, right? The overall shell, okay, that as a commercial landlord is what y'all are responsible for. But guess what? Furnace, only eight years old. Hot water tank, one year old. Roof, two years old. Okay, so it's all taken care of for you. So this is as turnkey as it gets when you're moving into the commercial space. And I know a lot of people are freaking out about commercial right now because so many things are getting outsourced. But again, you can't outsource what you get, what the clientele gets out of going to a bar. You can't outsource that experience. You can't remote go to a bar. You can't like remotely buy a lovely lady a drink four stools down from you. You can't remotely win a dart tournament, play some pool. You know what I'm saying? You can't remotely do karaoke, right? So that's why it makes a lot of sense. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Let's go. Get the back and we're good to go. So is that going to be your next investment, Mark? You're going to bring a dumpster so we can get all that shit out of there? Yeah, we need one. You need one. Yeah. I mean, not a lot of that shit's just laying down there. A lot of that stuff in there even when I'm with you. All right, you ready? Yeah, I think so. So. I'll get a mask. Let me just show the back. Yeah, I'm going to do this patio and then I'm going to walk backwards to we back up. Yep. I like going out on road. Some rodent traps. Hell yeah. Some rodent traps. Got a bunch of fire pit. Fire pit. But it's got it all a dog kennel. <laughs> Oh, air right. Just to get the back of the bar. Very good. Another little fire plane. Shovel. Just the roof. Cool. It looks like it. Yeah. The gutters and stuff. All the fire. Yeah. All right. 
That's it, and then I'll cut it off at the car. Cool. Old Noirs, baby. We'll sell you anything. Come to us. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.